Greetings, I'm George Boston Rhymes, and I'm in Valdosta, Georgia, on Highway 84 West, wherein they're going to construct a overpass for trains to go over this major thoroughfare in this metro city of Valdosta, Georgia. I understand it'll be approximately 10 plus million dollars that'll be spent in the construction of this overpass. I can only wonder, imagine how much of that money will go to the parents of low-income black African-Americans and poor whites, those who are filling the jails, prisons, and the probation roads. We know that where there is a high rate of crime, there is poverty in most cases. And according to most studies, that have been done in the United States of America. And so, if low-income people cannot find jobs, cannot be included in the mainstream economic pie of Valdosta, Lyons County, South Georgia, and the state of Georgia, then it is obvious how the crime rate will increase. They have no alternative. I talk to young people on the street as they walk their beat. They say they can't find gainful employment. Many talk about discrimination. Even in the Valdosta City School, school a system under the janitorial department, people are terminated with absolutely no recourse under Georgia disgraceful at will to work law. We could go further on that. But let's turn to another picture. After all, I'll say again, as I speak here today, don't look at what I say as criticism. Look at it as if it did not happen. If it were not true, then I wouldn't have anything to talk about. But if what I'm talking about is indeed the truth, and it is, then should I not talk about it? Should I not address it? Or should I just simply do what other Christian, Muslim, Jews, and Hindus, and you, and our profession, should I, should I just ignore it and go to church and placate and duplicate and imitate the Jesus who would have been about his father's business, and that is standing up for what is right? Now, let's get on point. It was published in the Valdosta Daily Times, and of course we know that Valdosta Daily Times is the only daily newspaper that we have covering the local community. For instance, the headline read, August 14, Valdosta get $96,000 from DOT. I ask a question along with John Robinson. How will our children that are committing crimes and can't find jobs and gainful employment in the black and low-income white contractors benefit and get some of those dollars to take care of their children so their children can get some of the necessities of life and won't have to rob convenience stores and stick up banks and some of the, do some of the other, sell drugs and some of the other unlawful acts. If the same people continue to pave the roads, continue to get all the money from DOT, Section 3, and Title 8, Come on now, let's get real. Leave that as it may. This week, last week, President of the United States, Barack Obama, and the Democratic Party had their convention, just like the Republicans. And we must acknowledge that history will tell us, history will record, that President Barack Obama will be the most hated president in the history of the state of Georgia, the United States of America, and perhaps around the world. We can only ask ourselves a question. From the founding of this nation, for 435 years, the equality of blacks have been in question. Yet, when 
did black folk ask for any of the other 43 all white male presidents birth certificate? When did they ask them to prove? When did we ask as a people for the other 43 white male presidents to prove that they were a human being? When did we make fun of any of the other president's little children? Little children. When did we call them a clown, a stupid, a Hitler? All these dirty names that we hear on the world stage today. And sure, they'll say it's not about skin color. They'll say it's his issues, it's the issues, it's his policies. There were issues and policies when blacks were relegated to three-fifths of human beings. Couldn't assemble in groups of more than five. Couldn't have a family structure. And if we tried to have one, the strong black man would be taken up from one family and taken to another plantation and sold as a piece of, piece of mer merchandise or livestock under some of the other 43 residents of this nation. Discriminated against when it came down to being able to travel in this country, own a firearm, The first affirmative action program in this nation was for white folks. Bonanza, I Love Lucy, 26 Men, Batman, and Robin, Stage Court West, Billy the Kid and Pat Garrett, the Tall Man, Search for Tomorrow, Days of Our Lives. All of those programs were set aside for whites only, and blacks need not apply because they didn't have the complexion for the protection. All the local, state, and federal law enforcement jobs were for white people and their children. Blacks need not a place. Even going to the armed forces to fight for this nation was set aside for whites only. Blacks had to fight just to go get a right to fight for this nation. So they tell us blacks are not qualified today Go over in Brooks County, you won't see a single black employed in the courthouse of Brooks County quickly. Go to the same city and next and look for diversity and equal hire of blacks versus whites and others. You just don't find it. I'm sorry. Go to the courthouse in a city with this type of diverse population. See how many black African Americans are employed. Go to your local businesses and hardware stores. Go to your restaurants and look for black waitresses. No, 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 just go. Don't take my word for it. I don't want you to take my word. I want you to look with your eyes and your God, your God-given sense of humanity. And the strange thing about it, many professors at BSU are aware of it. And they should be highly educated. And many of them helping us to highlight this problem. Now, please note, if anybody want to challenge me, this YouTube is open for open challenge to sit next to me and we'll have a beautiful time. But you won't be able to refute what I'm saying. You won't be able to refute that the first lady, first black lady of the United States of America was on the front page of USA Today. Isn't that a beautiful picture of our first lady? I think so. I think it's a beautiful picture. And so we all looked at that and we just wondered what would the Valdosta Daily Times front page look like? Me being a man of average intelligence, I went on the internet and I looked at Chicago Sun-Times and many other newspapers across the nation and just like USA Today, there was a front, there was a picture of the first lady on the front page of most newspapers across the nation. Not, not on the Valdosta Daily Times, though. Look, 
Valdosta de la Times chose to put Moody Air Force Base airplanes on the front page. George Bush, these were constructed and dedicated to George Bush. George Bush, a Republican. It lets you know that we are dealing in a very Republican community. No picture of the First Lady. First Lady says Obama, a man can, we can trust. But no picture. Oh, by the way, the Bible tells me to give honor where honor is due. On page 4A of the Valdosta Daily Times, there is a black and white picture of the First Lady, small picture. And of course, the crowd was at the Democratic Convention. And so since we don't own this newspaper, since I'm not the editor of this newspaper, we have to accept what they give us. But I think we need to ask some of the major newspapers in Atlanta and Macon to consider coming to Valdosta because we really need another perspective. Look, Clinton boosts Obama rouse and speech. Oh, by the way, there's a little picture of Clinton. Former President Clinton, there's a little picture down there of him in the Valdosta Daily Times. Also, I just want you informed. I don't want you deaf, dumb, and blind to the J. Ambrose article. I don't have to tell you what it's about. You know it's against the president. You don't even have to read it. Here's another columnist, Valdosta Daily Times, named Cal Thomas. I don't have to read that. You know he, he, he's condemning the president. No matter what the president does, he can't do anything good, according to those Christians and patriots by their own right. That's what they are. They are Christians and they are patriots. They speak ill of God-created being to no, no end. They can't say nothing good about it. The first president of the United States I've ever seen that couldn't do nothing right. And they're not the only ones. They are black, right people. Black people. This is Stop Hawking, Valdosta State of Time, black columnist, female type. She can't find nothing good to say about one of God's children here in the Valdosta and Lyons County, Georgia area. Now I go to Thomasville. This is a copy of the Thomasville Times Enterprise. Picture of our beloved president, the commander in chief of our sons and daughters at the Moody Air Force Base. Yeah. Valdosta Daily Times, I mean, Thomasville Times, I think, also is owned by. Valdosta Daily Time Company, or whoever it is, I'm not sure, I think that's what it is. In fact, I'm sure it is. Then we come down to another one here in the, in the equipment in Valdosta area wherein Ben Lott was captured. Ah, but to hear again, if he was captured under President Bush or some of the other presidents, Ronald Reagan, well, there'd have been some positive say it, but because it was the 44th president, the first black African American, it's all negative. It looked as if though, he made a mistake in capture. He did it wrong. I told you, you can't do nothing right. This is the Madison County newspaper from Madison, Florida. Madison County Curry talks about our churches violating the law with vote no sign. That's dealing with voting. Yet, what is being published in the newspapers in Florida about the Quitman 10? Alleged intimidation by the Georgia GBI. Border suppression. A meeting that took place on July the 17th and another one where Secretary of State Brian P. Kemp came to Brooks County in Quitman. And people talked about having to show an ID just to pick up a sample ballot. Just to pick up a copy. Allegedly. Of an application to register people to vote and other people had to travel to another county just to get applications by absentee ballots. Why was that not published in the Valdosta Daily Times, the Whitman Free Press, the Thomasville Times Enterprise? Why was that not news on your local TV stations? If our sons and daughters can put on that uniform and go out to Moot Air Force Base and deploy in Iraq, Afghanistan, and other war-torn areas 
Why can't they have a freedom of the press and freedom of speech here in the United States of America? The Equipment Free Press should have reported what took place on July the 17th at that meeting. It wasn't published. The fact that an uh, application for qualification for the Republican Party and individual was notarized and went back and changed the form, it all is on YouTube. You can see it for yourself. But why is it that the Equipment Free Press did not inform the citizens about it? Sure, we have Mr. Tribble doing his viewpoint. He didn't viewpoint that, though, did he? And what about Mr. Jack Harrell? Did a column on racism is alive and well. He went into all of this stuff and he consistently talk about the Republican agenda and things that's dealing with race and racism, but there is no rebuttal to what he says. There is no columnist to come back at what he said. And it's been going on for so long, I can only imagine how the people in Bruce County must feel. Most blacks, they don't even buy the paper because it's so, I won't say the word, but you figure it out. Once again, health care, lands, law needs overturning. Robert E. Tribble. Now, don't you think that a conservative viewpoint? Where is the opposition? Where is a reporter? Where is a columnist to give the other side of the story? So we can see that equipment free press just may be very fair, very fair and unbalanced. Then we go down, this was another column that Mr. Jack Harrell wrote, racist, racist seek to divide. Well, when you, you, you really have to look back down the annals of history in Quitman and Brooks County, regardless of what he said about racism, just check the historic record. Find out about May the 17th through May the 24th about the week of terror wherein 13 to 15 black African Americans was murdered. There had been no investigation. Judge Hugh Lawson hadn't said anything about that. Governor Nathan Deal haven't called or said anything about that. There are no monuments except the ones that we erected outside of Hayhara with 105 vehicles travel out to that point and all that was a white out by the local South Georgia news media. Not one thing was published about it. Yet our sons and daughters can go out to Moody Air Force and, 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 and Fort Hood, Texas and, and, and Fort Benning and give their life for this nation, yet their own rights seem to be dissipating at this dispensation. And so the story goes. Now here's another one. Well, let me just put it like this. There was an article in the Brooklyn Free Press from a local citizen by the name of Patricia, and she talked about how trained the people on the Brooks County Board of Elections are and the great job that they are having. And you'll find others have written in, wrote in the Equipment Free Press about how professional they are. But I'm asking you, as I said earlier, don't take my word. Go and look at the actual footage of that entire meeting here on YouTube. And it's called Hard to Say. And you get the rest of the story. You see, we're living in a time now when we know there are Christians. We know that there are patriots. But we also need to understand that there is more than one Jesus. You see, Lester Maddox had a Jesus. Eugene Bull Connors had a Jesus. Governor Wallace followed a Jesus. Many people in this country that found that even their children found them to be on the wrong side of history. Yet they were Christians. They were patriots by their own right. But history proved them to be liars deceitful and on the wrong side of history. And so today in 2012, I'm saying to black folk in particular, don't hate white people. 
Don't allow white folks to make you hate them. Don't allow black folk to make you hate white folk. Just understand that there is many Jesuses. And there are many gods. And somebody got to follow them. Dr. King chose the follower. Let me repeat. Reverend Martin Luther King chose to follow another Jesus that was separate from the Jesus of Lester Maddox. The Jesus of poor comments. The Jesus of other hate groups who considered you three-fifths of a human being if you was of a darker hue. Many white people chose to follow the Jesus that Dr. King followed, the, the, the Jesus that John Brown followed, the Jesus of those white right people that assisted Harriet Tubman, those uh, white right followers that supported the blacks during the week of terror and, and squealed and told the truth about the mobs that did what they did that are not being reported until this day as if though our God will be like their God and not remember that in the hereafter. But it is written, for God is not mocked for whatsoever man sow, that shall he also reap. You can run for a long time and you can avoid justice for decades and centuries, but in the final analysis, truth, right, and justice going to win every time. And so when we talk about the death in the Valdosta Lyons County Jail, 30 strong, leading the state of Georgia, just from 2009 to present, is a mystery to us. Death from 2009 to the present is a mystery to Sykes B. Chambers, Sanford Bishop, and other elected officials, Nathan Deal, a mystery because nobody seemed to care about human life. Yeah, they lie and tell us they love active duty and retired military veterans. Many of the people that died in the Valdosta and Lyons County Jail were active duty. Some were retired disabled military veterans. Some of them mothers and fathers died. And yet, nobody seemed to care. And from 1994 to 2009, 30 souls were lost. Inmates say more, but they sent them to the hospital to die so the number wouldn't go up. And then on March the 8th, 2010, I'm told, and you can challenge me on that. You can watch the video that I have. I won't post that on YouTube because the people here in Valdosta don't give a damn. I'm talking about the elected officials. And so why should I post that? So the people that had nothing to do with the death, with the tasing, would lose their job because there is no justice in South Georgia. How many black judges do we have on the Southern Judiciary? Lawyers will tell me, but they can't talk about it because they got to live in this area. And you say, Brother Ryan, don't you have to live? Yes. I'll probably live here and I'll probably die here. And I'll die with a smile because I tried my best to part the waters of the Red Sea. I tried to part the waters of the Nile so you can get through. I tried to help somebody outside of myself. I tried to imitate in truth the real Jesus. I tried to love my neighbor as I want my neighbor to love me. I tried to do for my neighbor's children as I want my neighbor to do for my children that they become in me. I want to help those who speak truth like I thank God expect you to help me if I indeed speak the truth and shun those that lie and don't have enough guts to tell you the truth as if though they don't believe what Jesus said. That is that ye shall know the truth for only the truth will set you free. So I'll close this out now by saying that I love you. I love my own children. And because I love my children, I love your children. And so this is why I do what I do, even for you, even if you don't like me. But I know 
And there are, or there is, I know there is, some American citizens who want for their neighbor that which they want and have for themselves. Everybody's not selfish like Ruff, Rush Limbaugh and the rest of them. And I'm not criticizing them. I'm just telling the truth. After all, we know that they must be who and what they are. You see, you can't expect Jesus to be the devil, and you can't expect the devil to be Jesus. In the final analysis, God is not marked for whatsoever man sow, that shall he also reap. I want to put love and information in your head. I don't want you jumping up and down in church, howling, hollering hallelujah and hallelujah and hallelujah. I just want you to have the truth, because in the end, only truth and right will win. And though others who are found on the wrong side of history will be nothing more than footnotes on the bottom pages in books or encyclopedias and will be for, forgotten. But those who stand up for the real teachings of Jesus, Allah, Jehovah, El Shaddai, or whatever holy name you want to call him, they are indeed the ones that will be in the hereafter. Until next time, I am George Boston Rains. Please spread these words, because soon and very soon, nobody will be talking like this. No, 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 no. Somebody will know that they are putting radiation in your baby formula. They'll know that your meats are contaminated. They'll know that your peanuts have been infected with something that should not be consumed. But because of great fear, they won't say anything. There will be American people who will work in water plants, and they'll know that the water is not safe to be consumed. But they won't say nothing because they are too afraid of what somebody can do to them. Or they'll be afraid that they may lose their job. And we're going to kill each other because of ignorance. We're going to destroy each other. We're going to destroy this world that God has left in our own protection. Because all we could do is go to church, mosques, and synagogue, and temples, and play game with the mass of the people while our planet go to hell. And it's going to all be because the good people sat back and said nothing, just like they did when the Jews were being burned up in the ovens. They said and did nothing. Nothing, nothing.